Hello Aries and thank you for clicking in to Witchy Woo Tarot. Welcome to your bonus reading for the end of your season. So you all had the most views on my Aries season playlist aka the quarantine shuffle. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the energies for you guys for the next few weeks as we embark on Taurus season which starts on 420. Um, so yeah, these readings are for the general collective of the sign of Aries and may not resonate with everyone. So just be sure to check your birth chart for your moon, Venus, and rising signs to see if my other readings have a message you need to hear. If you are able to take anything away from this reading, please just let me know down in the comments. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So guys, um, I've been looking forward to doing this bonus reading and I just want to say I appreciate so very much that you guys are watching and, and also being able to take things away from these readings, whether it be a new perspective, some additional insights, um, or just some advice. So again, I thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and for showing so much support. Um, and of course, you guys are the go-getters and you need to win all the time, so you had to go ahead and win the bonus reading for your season, which is awesome. So um, I've been seeing a lot of repeating numbers today, mainly the numbers 88, 83, 83, 22, 11, and 777. So I feel like I just called out those numbers like the Powerball or something. So maybe some of you guys are into gambling. Maybe some of you guys are just ready to take a risk of some kind. So maybe those will be some lucky numbers for you. If you're into angel numbers and their meanings, go ahead and look up those meanings and see if that relates to your life in any way. So I'm going to get started with the Accurate AF Tarot, which is... So cool, you guys. It's one of my faves. I know I say that all the time. You're probably like, okay, listen, it, everything can't be your favorite, but indeed it is. So these are circular deck. I love the rounds um, and the gold plating on the side of the deck. I got this on Etsy from Prism and Fleur. And just love the imagery. So let's see what spirit wants you guys to know for the next couple of weeks as we approach Taurus season. And we've got two. So first we have the priestess, which just came out in the general collective reading. If you guys haven't already seen that, I would suggest going ahead and taking a look at that. The high priestess is all about inner knowing, um, intuition, you know, things being illuminated, knowledge that comes from within. Um, so whoever this person is, whether it be you or someone in your life, the energy here is of trusting your intuition um, and just relying on your gut instinct to move forward in life. Um, as you can see, the phases of the moon are on here. This kind of makes me feel like, you know, it's a cycle, essentially. So maybe some of you are completing a cycle or just understanding that life is about cycles with beginnings and endings. So uh, going back to your reading, you guys did get the death and rebirth card. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. This is kind of an extended reading towards the original Zodiac reading that I posted for you. So um, this card highlights illumination and knowledge. So that doesn't surprise me. You guys are very smart. You're quick on your feet. Um, you're very adaptable. And then we have the judgment card. Oh my goodness. So y'all who follow my Instagram, you know that I've been getting the judgment card recently. And this highlights revelations and awakenings. So I always say, to to do, do you are getting a wake up call of some kind, either you or someone in your life. And with the high priestess, that makes me feel like whatever realizations you're having, whatever this inner knowing is that you're trusting, um, it has everything to do with Judgment Day. 
Um, take that however it applies to your life. So maybe you are, maybe you're judging your own self and coming to new realizations about the way that you handle things, maybe about the way that you respond to others, um, or just realizing that you guys are awesome. So with that being said, um, you know, just keep in mind with the judgment card, this also could mean, you know, someone coming back from the past or a situation coming back from the past. And maybe you've just, maybe you're experiencing something or maybe you've just recently gone through something that you've already been through in your past. And now you're kind of seeing things a different way and being able to handle them with a different sort of grace. So... Moving forward, I feel like that's your general energy coming to the close of Aries season. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So some of you, whether it be you or someone else in your life, maybe this is someone else to you, but the Queen of Pentacles is nurturing, she's kind, she's got it all together, she makes the money, she handles the house. She just handles business. And, um, you know, the words highlighted on this card is practicality and generosity. So you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or you could have those signs in your chart. Maybe this is just the energy that you're embodying over the next couple of weeks. So what I see here for you guys is you've had some sort of awakening, and now you're kind of moving forward through this new door of the unknown into a new way of thinking. Um, a new way of acting, a new way of behaving, um, or you could just be interacting with someone like this in your life. And I do want to get just a couple more from this deck, and then I'm going to do some clarifying cards with the Everyday Witch Tarot mini deck that I just received. And we have two more. So we've got Fortitude and the King of Rings. With Fortitude, this is the Strength card. So vitality, courageousness, just in general, strengthening of a bond strengthening of the home and again of the overall energy that you're putting out there whether this be you and another person maybe you guys are strengthening your bond maybe these awakenings that you're having are making you realize that you know essentially you have your counterpart here Okay, so the King of Rings or the King of Pentacles and now the Queen of Pentacles are together. I feel like there is some sort of relationship, whether it be a love relationship, business, friendship, family. Um, there's a relationship in your life that is getting very strong to the point where you're starting to realize that I just heard the one. Maybe you're finding that one person or that one thing that's bringing you the ultimate balance in your life. So I do want to go ahead and get some clarifying cards for these just to elaborate on some of these themes here. And you guys, they weren't messing around when they said mini deck. This deck is super tiny, so I'm going to try to hold it up to the camera real nice so it will zoom in and you can see these awesome images. Um, so I do want to get some clarity on the High Priestess. What is it that the High Priestess wants us to know coming into the season of Taurus? What does Spirit want us to know about the High Priestess?
Maybe there's some new ideas that you're keeping to yourself. Maybe you're a little reluctant. Okay, guys, we got one out for the High Priestess. So I'm going to stop there for a second and let's address this energy right here. So we've got the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is also a card that came up in the general collective reading. So um, this is the end of a very difficult cycle for you. So maybe some of you, again, dealing with the past, maybe some of you have come to some realizations that something in your past, whether it be a person, a place or thing, there was something in your past that was holding you back and dragging you down into a dark energy. Take that however it resonates. Something about your past was not working out so hot for you. Maybe the way you were doing things, maybe the way that you were reacting to things could be in general just a failed failed past of, of relationships in general whether it be business partnerships friendships or love relationships so the ten of swords though also you know again it's the ending of a cycle you got all these swords in this person's back and she's like help me lord but she's probably gonna die soon but at the end, you've got the sun rising in the background, and it looks like someone over here on the side is escaping from this person. So maybe you have, maybe you've just kind of felt like your life has been a battle. Um, maybe you feel like you've had to end something or end a way of thinking or being to be able to escape into a new way of life so again just kind of remember with the ten of swords although it's an ending I feel that this is a past energy because moving forward you're you're coming into this awakening and you're you're strengthening whatever bond this is so I do want to get some clarifying cards for this counterpart situation okay here we go we've got two okay so I'm gonna stop there so I've got the three of swords and the six of Pentacles so let's talk about the three of swords first with the three of swords again maybe you have dealt with some serious heartbreak in the past maybe you in general heartbreak so again lovers whatever um, you felt like betrayed serious loss there could have been third-party situations involved um, and with this journal on the bed and the swords and the heart I just get this feeling that whatever emotions that you were feeling from these past relationships were enough to make you really remember and I just heard learn your lessons so you know maybe or you could take this in another way maybe recently you were in a third party situation and you decided to escape and get away from that energy to awaken and move into a new partnership with someone who is a vibrational match for you someone that there's an equal give and take and that brings me to the six of pentacles so the six of pentacles is all about balancing the scales it's all about give and take what you give is what you get so what you put out into the universe is what you'll get back with the six of pentacles maybe you or someone in your life are realizing that situations in your past were not very balanced. Um, maybe you were a part of some sort of a relationship where you were being breadcrumbed or benched or, or whatever fancy term these young kids are using these days. So, you know, now coming into the next few weeks, you're having these realizations that this partnership here whatever it is is more balanced more fulfilling you feel like you're getting back 
what you're giving. So there's a, a great deal of reciprocity in this connection, I feel. Um, and then I do want to get one more clarifying card on strength card. <clears throat> Wow. So again, confirming what I was saying with this connection right here, um, not only is it strong, not only is it solid, but it comes with the Ace of Cups, guys. The Ace of Cups is emotionally fulfilling and, and just brand new, fresh energy. Um, this could be, this could mean, you know, a birth of an idea, um, you know, the birth of a new emotional relationship. Um, some of you could be pregnant or finding out that you're pregnant sometime soon. Um, but that's not for everybody. Um, I just, I don't know why, but I heard that. So, um, again, Ace of Cups is a new emotional start. The cup is overflowing with love, with promise. Um, so that's a great place to be in, guys. And, um, you know, just to kind of dig a little bit deeper, I do kind of want to know a little bit more about this revelation or this awakening. Wow, guys, so my ears are really hot right now. They're like burning. So um, let's get a clarifying card for the judgment card, please. Oh my gosh. Okay, so as I was saying in my Instagram earlier, guys, repeating cards are the number one confirmation, especially if you're getting repeating cards, but in different decks, which has been happening to me a lot recently. So we have the Queen of Pentacles again, guys, as clarification for this judgment card, for these revelations and awakenings. Whoever this person is, whether this be your energy that you're stepping into or your person or whoever the other energy is in this reading, the Queen of Pentacles is the closest queen to the Empress. So you're having a revelation about someone in your life or vice versa. And again, guys, remember, we each have divine masculine and divine feminine within all of us. Okay, so energy is what I'm talking about. I don't really care that much about gender because I know there are so many different people watching this and again it cannot possibly resonate for everyone so without being too specific the queen of pentacles is is empress energy in my mind she's nurturing she's kind she's loving you're having a revelation and awakening about this energy this person this project and you're realizing that I keep hearing the one I keep hearing the one in my head and my ears are burning. So this story might be very specific. This could potentially just be one person's story. Um, and again, so if there's someone watching this video that has been following my channel and my account that's been putting this intention out into the universe and needing to know more about this connection, hopefully um, this reading is for you. So um, before we move on, and in the reading, guys, I am going to get some energy. And I spent a lot of time shuffling these cards just because they're really difficult to shuffle. They're round, and this deck in particular is very thick. So I'm just going to kind of give it a little turn here. And then I'm just going to cut it. And I'm going to pull a pass energy from the bottom. Lord, here we go. Past energy from the bottom. We have the mask and a future energy for the top. Oh God, this, this is getting juicy, you guys. This is really exciting. And the sword. Okay, so talk about clarity and truth, guys. So some of you 
you know, may have, some of you in the past may have worn a mask, okay? Maybe you felt like you needed to wear a mask in certain relationships or kind of pretend or maybe not pretend, but project a certain personality type because of past experiences. So this takes me straight to inner childhood wounds, okay? When you guys are raised and you're brought up by your family, you have certain things instilled into your mind and I am always feeling sad for the divine masculines because their energy, I feel like men are constantly oppressed and, and I'm, of course, guys, I'm a defender of feminine and masculine, um, but with with the masculines, I just feel like they're so oppressed, always being told, you know, to be strong, to be the man of the house, or to fulfill some sort of expectation um, that has been placed on them since childhood. You know, don't cry, don't, you know, don't be too emotional. Um, you know, some of you may have some issues with intimacy um, and or have had some relationships in the past where you have felt like you needed to wear this mask to be able to push forward. So again, this is the past energy. So if you're coming out of this and moving into an emotional awakening, congratulations, guys, because it's beautiful on this side. Okay, you don't need to wear a mask and you don't need to pretend to be someone you're not because when you do that, you're only going to attract low vibrational people and energy into your life. You're not going to ever attract the right one until you are vibrating at a high enough level that matches your counterpart. Okay, so with that being said, the sword reminds me of the Ace of Swords, which is all about truth and clarity, awakenings, um, cutting to the heart of the matter. Um, so I feel like a lot of you are coming into this new, this new earth, into the age of light, and you are realizing what's truly important, what really matters. Who really matters? And you matter. I feel like a lot of you are starting to have more self-respect and understanding about who you are. And I think that's beautiful, guys. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. Um, and speaking of who you are, if anyone needs any help um, finding their birth chart information, please go ahead and email me at witchywootero at gmail.com. Um, and as uh, also a reminder, if you guys want a personal reading, please check out my Etsy page. Um, when you purchase your first reading, I will give you a complimentary birth chart. Um, and I'll even go a step further if there is someone in your life that you have a connection with um, and you want to know more about your compatibility and things uh, of that nature, I'd be happy to go ahead and run those reports for you as well as a complimentary um, extra when you purchase a reading. So guys, this has been so great. And coming into Taurus season, I feel a lot of positive energy for you. Um, just remember to stay away from those negative vibes and never forget who you are, okay? So you guys are great. Thank you so much for letting me do this reading for you and for continuing to watch. I hope you have a wonderful night and take care.